No, it's not gonna be that. I'm hearing there's two sets of four on the 150s, then wickets. How what? I was cost? cool with the nine. I don't know. It can't be that fast. I was cool with the nine, maybe six. You know, six would be lovely. Six would be great. Six would be lovely. Six, you know, is, what I, was six is what I was imagining. I think we got six. There was a time where we never went past six. I think, I mean, I haven't been here, but I think if we got wickets, it can't be much more than six. Better, better yeah. times, I'm not gonna lie. We had six. Fridays were fun. We would Friday. compete. Fridays were fun. Fridays, Fridays were fun. fun. Everybody would talk. No laughing afterwards. So what's your warm up routine look like? It's very standard, like jogging, mobilization, I'm about to go and do some leg swings and then drills and stuff like that. But I kind of tend to feel out my body and so if anything I feel like needs to be more activated or is a bit tired or something, I'll just kind of hone in on stuff that can help me with that. But, I know y'all are warming up. Do you know what the workout is finally now? No. Uh, they got two times, two times uh, 150s, and they're going close to race pace. Basically, it's the last 150 of their race if they were running with 200. Uh, they're in racing flats, so they're not going to put spikes on. And then after that, they got some uh, wickets. So at the end of the workout, we do the wickets to force them to reiterate good, strong mechanics on the fatigue. I'm hoping their legs don't give out and collapse, and I'm hoping that they look like sprinters at the end of the workout. Um, if they can maintain the integrity of their execution, the entire workout, basically they have to look like they're running at world-class pace the entire workout. As, as things get more and more fatigued, things are going to deteriorate. And their job is to maintain great position, great execution on the fatigue, on the distress, and then finish up with the wickets. The wickets have to be perfect, by the way. They're, they have to be, they can't just kind of run back and forth to them. Mechanics have to be A+, plus, and that's kind of what we're looking for, for them to learn to kind of execute. But typically when fatigue hits and the brain shuts down, you're just on survival mode. And and the athletes stop thinking, they're just trying to make it to the end of the workout and we want to get away from that and be a little bit more intelligent at the end of the workout when things get difficult. Flow has a very heavy mechanical focus and where I came from it's like a workhorse program so I'm enjoying having that kind of fine tuning and focus on mechanics, I'm really enjoying that. I think I'm just enjoying a little bit of change. I think sometimes your brain just needs some new stimulus and yeah, I'm enjoying just turning up every day and I'm like, what are we doing? And nine times out of 10, I haven't done the session before because I'm new <laughs> and I'm just getting on with it. Am I going to be tired? Who knows, you know, just feeling it out. So yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we've got 150s, two sets. We need to make the time. Two sets of two 150s. Uh, ladies are going 17. Four minutes rest. We're going to take 10 minutes between each set. Then we have the wickets after. The wickets is the workout, by the way. So perfect form, like perfect. A plus. Not like less. Not like New Mexico. Not like New Mexico. All right. So two sets of two times 150, 17 seconds, four minutes rest, 10 minutes in between set, and four time wickets. And the wickets are the long one. Need to be perfect. You both are going on the 6 8. You're going to the guy side. Got it. Make the time. All I need. Let's group up. Execution. It's gonna hurt. Yes, ma'am. You go with Teeny Man. Okay, I'm fine. I don't think it's gonna be fun, but that's okay. Uh, the wind looks like it's going that way. Pardon me? Four. Four perfect wicket. 30 seconds rest. Good strong push out front side mechanics. Low knee, high knees, low heel. Ready? The workouts are built for the whole year already, but they're adjusted week to week based on how we perform and how we do from one meet to another. So based on last week, we, we lack the ability to execute on the, so when, when so at the end of the race, when Venus are falling apart, things look significantly different in the first hundred than the last hundred. So we need to attain to that and take care of it. Joy and uh, she looked like a rock star, but the last 50, she sort of started sinking a little bit. That's kind of what we're doing that. So whatever they, they did not do well in Albuquerque, the workout was going to be the same, but it's been adjusted a little bit to uh, duplicate how bad they executed last week. Hey, 17. Wow. Run it with a 17 in Now, obviously, you're training with Dina. What has that been like being able to work with her? It's been really good. You know, Dina is a world-class athlete and being able to run against her along with my teammates, you know, Kevona, um, Rashida. It's been really good having an extra person to push us as well. Training her in, in Texas, you know, I've been here for the past five years. 
The training here in Texas has been really good. The transition hasn't been that bad, it's been smooth. I think the only difference is just my routine has been a lot different than before. But overall, it's been, it's been really good, smooth transition. And I mean, training partners are still the same and atmosphere still the same, so there's not that much different. 17-4. Hey, if you're gonna go with them, you gotta go further up, okay? You're way too far back. It's been loads of fun just having such a diverse group of people. Obviously, like I was in my old group for 19 years and I absolutely love them to get. Like we still talk, like we're gonna be friends forever and ever and ever. But it's very different kind of training with people that come from different backgrounds. So I've been learning a lot. University of Texas has endless resources and it's great to have training partners that they're very very close and we're all kind of within a range so it's great to keep you accountable like as you're training and going throughout the year and just really pushing each other and yeah pretty high intensity training group things can kind of get a little fiery when the workouts are going somebody will pick up the pace and somebody else would respond but you know, for the most part, we haven't had any issues with them kind of going at it and pushing each other. And I think they have a really good friendship on and off the track, which is great, but they also can be competitive uh, during the workout, which is great. So you have to be, as an athlete, you have to separate the two. So they did great. They gotta take 10 minutes rest, put some clothes on and go again. It's fine. The actual bit that's the session is the next bit, so that bit's the one that hurts, not this one. <laughs> so I have to very much pay attention to that bit. So it's hard work, but it's what it is. How'd you feel after that first couple? Um, a little tired. I'm cold. Yeah. Struggling to breathe, but. I'm okay. Don't One more set on the left. Three minutes, time to Try go! To work out Right now, they're, they have the World Indoor coming, and we're just sort of focusing on trying to get ready for that. Um, getting some high level repetition there and competing at a high level. Our cycles is not leading towards Paris yet, so we haven't begun to look at the scope of how do we run world class time outdoor and get on the podium until we get to March. Uh, so, right now, we're still in the indoor mode, sort of in between the two phases. I'm mostly excited for, I mean, just racing my, my first official professional race. I mean, I competed last season in professional races, but I think competing alongside Dina, my training partner, I think it'll be really exciting um, to go out there and such a good feel. I've never run at Milrose Games before. I've never done indoors in the US. I'm traditionally not a girl that does a lot of indoors. I can't tell you the last time I did a major indoor championship. So it's gonna be fun racing over the 60. I'm very, very, very excited to be back on a flat track. <laughs> That's going to be really nice. Um, we've been working on a lot of technical stuff too across my acceleration and definitely like, yeah, the rest of my race. So I'm really excited to see how that plays out in competition. I just want a competitive effort. You know, obviously I wanted them to go one too. I don't care who else is in there. But I want them to compete, and they've been doing that in practice every day, competing against each other out of the blocks, competing against each other uh, around the oval. So they're used to it, but I just want them to sort of, uh, you shoot a thousand baskets so it can become automatic. You do all these steps around the track so it can just be automatic. When the athletes don't execute, that means from a coaching standpoint, we haven't done enough repetition for it to be uh, automatic. And that's kind of why I want to get to them, is like their bodies to execute so effortlessly that we've done so many repetitions at a higher level. And it just happens by itself. Clearly we're not there yet, but uh, the hope is that by the time we get to Paris that we can be so smooth and so clean and so, ed so, so effortless that we've done enough work. We made it clear kind of what we needed to get done, and I think they knew when we talked about uh, after the meet what was not good. And I think we both understood that. I think Jorian did a little bit better than, than Dina, but Dina still, this is kind of new to her. Jorian's been into this for four years, so she knows what the expectations are, and she's used to doing these workouts where Dina's kind of just learning on the job. Because this is the Olympic year, 
we don't have to sort of the honeymoon phases. We just got to jump right into it and kind of get to it. In the past, I'd probably be more patient with somebody that new. and probably wouldn't be that intense right away, but because there's so much at stake, we just have to get her uh, used to it ASAP. But even for her, significantly better. We're just working on trying to lengthen her stride at the end of the race. Uh, but I, I was pleased. From what I wanted, from what I got, we made some progress. It was good overall. My butt got lost a little. I saw some elastic in there, but overall it was a good workout. It's so hard to run properly when your legs are fatigued. That's how you work on these. These wickets, but it's hard sometimes. It's hard, man. But it will pay up in the end. Yeah, it was all right. It was definitely was in terms of like harder sessions, it was definitely on the easier end <laughs> that I've had since we've been here. So very happy with like what we had to do today. And um, yeah, a big like thing that I've got that Flo's got me focusing on is maintaining good form under fatigue. So for me, the most important thing today was when I get tired, make sure I like I'm very disciplined and and stay focused on my form. And when I'm going over the wickets, don't hit them and also just make sure that each run is powerful, fast, and as well executed as can be. So ultimately, I'm focused on the Olympics. Um, I've got no idea what the rest of my indoor looks like. I've got no idea what most of my outdoors going to look like, but <laughs> honestly, you're just like, this is probably not the answer I was expecting. <laughs> but um, no, I'm just rolling with it. I'm just having fun, trying new things. I think when you're in like a new coaching environment, and it is such an important year. There's no alternative but just to trust in what you're being told, trust in the bigger picture and just um, be disciplined. And when he says jump, I say how high, and that, that's the way I'm, I'm rolling with it. I think my goal for indoor season is to win um, World Indoor. As I mentioned, 2024 is a big year, Olympics and World Indoor. But I'm also looking forward to just being healthy, trusting my coach, trusting God, trusting myself and just seeing what it has in store for me, just putting the work in, stressing the process and going race by race.